Howdy, y'all. Y'all can't hear me yet. Uh, you'll, you'll be able to hear me in a second. There we go. I just really didn't feel like starting this absolutely all over again, again, because I've been doing it all day again, again. I'll explain that in a few minutes. Uh, and I, we're going to uh, talk about corporations and companies and such and, and bad things in a minute. But let's get, there, there's good news and bad news today. So um, the good news is, good news is I forgot how to play. No. Doctor, come cut loose your mama's brains. You know, playing blind man's rough is a little baby's game. You pick up little dynamite, and I'm gonna pick up little gun. And together we're gonna go out tonight and make, nah, make that highway run. You don't have to call me Lieutenant Rosie, and I don't wanna be your son. The only lover I'm ever gonna need is yours. Soft, sweet little girl's tongue And rose, you're the one Jack the Rabbit and Whitney Willie Don't you know they're gonna be there? Our sloppy Sue and Big Balls and Billy They'll be coming up for it We're gonna play some pool, skip some school Stay out all night, it's gonna feel all right And will Rosie come out Windows are for cheaters. I don't remember the rest. Chimneys are for the poor. Closets are for hangers. Winners use the door. So use it, Rosie. That's what it's there for. Yeah, you know. Anyway, the good news is uh, my sister and I tag team to get into the Seattle queue for Bruce Springsteen today and actually scored some tickets. So uh, in February, we get to see Bruce. Why I have to come to Seattle? This will be the third time I've seen Bruce. None of them in New Jersey. I made him food all the time. I his pizza. I, he likes the meatballs. The veal he likes. But you know, actually watching, seeing him play in New Jersey. No, I, I don't do that. <laughs> I just see him on the street and in, in the restaurant that I worked in. Not 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 actually I've seen him play. And the drivers I would send out would never come back because they'd go like down to trade winds or stuff. Bruce is here. I ain't coming back. Fine. Bring me the money tomorrow. All right. Cool. Thanks, man. You know, so yeah, it's just you know one of those things where I, I, for some reason, I was never able to actually go see Bruce in New Jersey, which is just weird since we're both from there. Anyways, the bad news is the Safeway thing has not worked out. The Safeway thing has got me so frustrated it's not funny. The Safeway thing is why are they bothering to advertise if they cannot provide a service? If they are absolutely unable to provide a service in three days, three days. Three days. They said they've been going to do this for three days, and they still can't do it. And they finally do. was like, I don't want to lie to you no more. And I, was like, I almost want to say, no more. So you actually have been lying to me this whole freaking time. That's great. This is how businesses are run today, and this is not good. I love Safeway. I love the food they have. They have better produce than QFC. QFC is like, meh. QFC is expensive. QFC is, uh, you know, <clears throat> hoity toity to me. And, and Safeway just has better stuff. Now I don't even want to go back to Safeway, not even in the store, just because they are so horrible at something that they said that they could do and they can't. And that is just something I think the entire world is losing right now. It's like, oh my God, we have all these tools that are supposed to be making our lives easier and they make it more difficult because all they do is get in their little programs and they go, nee, 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 nee. I put it in. And then it, it, nothing is human anymore. It's a program. So it's like, screw you, buddy. It's in the system. We're done. Not cool. Not cool at all. I'm a cancer patient who can't drive at the moment. It's two miles down the road to the freaking Safeway, man. You can't get somebody to come two miles here, and I'm going to pay you for it. I'm willing to pay you for it. I already did pay you for it because they have to refund me the money now. But So they, they've gotten my money. They've gotten my money for three days now that they have to refund. Me, I got nothing. I, got, I can't walk, but I got to go two miles to get my shit. I don't know. Anyways, I hope you all is, all is having a good day. Did I ask you to subscribe? I hope I did. I was supposed to do that at the beginning, but if I didn't, please do. Um, anyways, I, I hope you all is having a good day. I'm going to try and have a better one because this is just ridiculous how society treats people. And I just, I don't like it anymore. And uh, I don't know what I can do about it, but um, I don't know. I, I really don't. 
and I'm just I'm sick and tired of it. And and me exploding on people, it just doesn't work. I mean, it, me, me also me being crying and the fucking cancer patient doesn't work. So nothing works in this world anymore. We're just we're nothing. You know, Bob Seger had it right. I, I feel like a number. Well, guess what? You are. You're worse than a number. You're nothing anymore. All of us are nothing. Anyways, have a good day. He's always there for you. Always look up. I'll see you then. Peace.